Good afternoon, Pakistan. Good afternoon. Thank you for thank you for your patience. We are now ready to um, start. So I just want to check that you're receiving the sound and picture okay. Okay, great. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, we're, we're really happy to be connecting to Pakistan today to deliver this lecture. Um, I will hand over, just because we are slightly delayed, so um, I'd, I'll hand over to um, Dr. So to begin today's lecture. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, well, today I'm going to talk about wireless communications. Uh, I know that I think most of you are undergraduate students, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll cover uh, some key uh, concepts of wireless communications and also uh, some of the latest research directions if you are interested uh, to do further research in your career. So first of all, why do we need wireless communications? Yeah, because well, wireline communications have been here for hundreds of years. Um, why suddenly wireless? It is because uh, the first thing is mobility. Yeah, because we want to stay connected in everywhere we go. We don't want to be stationary. We want to be connected. And on the other hand, we also want to be flexible. We want to stay connected in many ways. Uh, nowadays, we use our phone not only for voice co conversation, but also we use the, uh, the phone for browsing, for data, maybe even for video. So we want both mobility and flexibility. So wireless can provide us with that. However, when we use wireless communications, there are several challenges. The first major challenge is the channel. Because uh, we know when we send a signal through the wireless channel, what it means is that we are broadcasting to everywhere. And what will happen is that because the channel varies very, very quickly, when the channel changes very quickly, what happens is when what we thought, oops, hold on, it's somehow in auto mode. What we thought the uh, channel looks like for a short period of time, it will change. The channel changes in kind of in a millisecond kind of duration, so it's very difficult. On the other hand, it will also have lots of echoes. Um, the picture below is just an illustration. Uh, anyone realize where that is? I wonder. This is uh, Old Trafford Stadium, if you are Manchester United fans. This is Manchester, so have to show some of the Manchester. Assuming there is a base station on top uh, of one side of Old Trafford, and assuming the guy in the center have a mobile phone, what happens is that if a signal is sent from the base station to the user, there will be a direct line of sight, yeah, hitting right towards the mobile user. That's great. We could have, we could have a good signal from that. However, we will also have some signal bouncing off from the back of the stadium, also bouncing from the, the two sides. So effectively, when that person is talking on his phone, it will receive lots of echoes. 
this is another major challenge for wireless communication. Another problem is that because we're broadcasting, the signal will attenuate over long distance, so the further away you are from the base station, the weaker the signal you will get. So all this comes to um, adversely affect the performance. So it's much more difficult to communicate in wireless than in wireline communication. Another challenge is that there are many mobile users. Because we know that nowadays we have lots and lots of users, lots of sub subscribers, and with many users, what will happen, uh, the problem is security. Yeah? Because if there are lots of users, it could have crosstalks. So someone else could have listened to what you are sending. And in fact, for first generation phones, for the analog phone, which is, well, ages ago, those ones are simply broadcasting FM signals. So if anyone, well, if you have a FM radio that can tune to that particular frequency, you can listen to anyone else. So that was very bad. Of course, nowadays it's much more uh, improved in terms of security. With lots of users, another problem is interference. Because when we have many users, when everyone transmits, you are polluting the air to a certain extent. And so what happens is where everyone's standing, you're interfering with each other. So this is another challenge. Bandwidth is very limited yeah? because we know that uh, for the mobile operator, when they need to have, uh, have their service running, they need to get their license first. However, the license fee from the government could be very high. In UK, uh, the service operator, when they bid for their license for the uh, third generation, they have to pay tens of billions of dollars. Uh, so it is a massive amount. So the bandwidth is very expensive. Or, on the other hand, if we are using some unlicensed spectrum, like uh, Wi-Fi, the spectrum is limited. So this is another challenge for wireless communication. Power consumption is another problem because well, there's, it, to a certain extent, not much of that a problem in the base station because the base station connects to live electricity. However, for mobile phones, you don't want to charge the phone quite often. You want your mobile phone uh, to stay on, to stay connected for quite a, a long time. And uh, on the right-hand side, there is a, a picture. The picture is a, is a boot. This boot is not a regular boot. What it does is it will charge your battery. Um, 